and welcome to the NNL Pro Tournament. The path to pro begins here. I'm Alex Cunningham alongside Boy Marchese for this first round matchup between Nikki Perella and Rachel Franz. Well, we've seen several matchups already, and these women are delivering. Absolutely, Alex. I am excited to see what we have this time around. Nikki is truly a globe-trotting competitor, and Rachel is no slouch herself. So it's going to be a real test to see who will be able to outlast the other for this grip gauntlet. And let's just remind you guys how this works. Each athlete has submitted a two-minute grip gauntlet they've recorded from their home facility, and will be up to you to decide who will be moving on based on creativity, variety, difficulty, and wow factor. Right you are, Alex. And remember, everyone, this is not a popularity contest. You guys are serving as both the judge and the jury, both honorable, I may add, in to determine who should move on to the next round as you will be judging their grip gauntlets based on the criteria that we just provided for you. Excellent ref, by the way. And now okay. let's meet our two competitors, Nikki Perella and Rachel Franz. Rachel Franz is one of season five's most consistent ninjas, having won six of her seven competitions, often against tough Northeast fields, and finishing second in the power rankings. In fact, over the course of multiple seasons, she kept up an impressive streak of 15 straight podiums. She proved her strength at the World Championship as well, finishing in the top 10 in the full swing and climb the ladder skills. Nikki Perella earned the coveted final spot in the run order at the 2020 NNO World Championship by having the most points of any adult athlete in Season 5. She picked up four wins and an impressive 11 podiums over the course of the season. And although she chose to compete in the adult division this season, she's been keeping up her pace with 81 points in nine competitions so far. Well, certainly these two ninjas have impressive resumes, but they absolutely show up under pressure. Totally. I completely agree with you. Nikki earned that final spot last year in the World Championships, and I don't think that she's willing to give up her spot to anyone. So let's see how she's able to handle Rachel. Well, let's start with Rachel, as she's the lower seed based on those points. And good luck to both competitors. Here's Rachel's grip gauntlet. Ready? What's up, ninjas? Rachel Franz here with Round Run of the Pro Series. Wish me luck. Good luck, Rachel. She's at Warrior Factory Buffalo with the most interesting start we've seen. She's and an immediate giant. Oh. That, that's a good start right there. Not only that, but she took the don't touch the ground very literally. Oh. Ooh, wow. So not only linked Lachey's, but a linked Salmon Ladder as well. Wow, that was very impressive. Now moving on to a sideways trapeze transition. An ascending transition as well. Or ascending trapeze bar, excuse me. And I guess she's heading to these nunchuck necks. And they look like they're metal nunchucks. They look Correct slippery. me if I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think you're right. You know, those are they're hard to keep a grip on those things. Now, it looks like she's taking on some sort of one-arm arm ring type obstacle. Yeah, it's definitely really tricky and a lot of change of direction on that as well. Yeah. As I assume she's heading onto these ropes. Let's see where she moves. And no, no rope. Okay. Ring. Just a bunch of rings. S slidey, though. Yeah. And now she's going to finish up with some ropes. She's got to be tired at this point, and she's grabbing really low on the ropes, and unfortunately that is where her grip gives out. Well, Rachel really took those four criteria to heart. She had creativity, variety, difficulty, and certainly wow factor. Oh, absolutely. Starting off not even on the ground and then doing a big giant like that, that was certainly impressive. The only time we actually saw her on the ground was at the end of her gauntlet. Yeah, Rachel has a gymnastics background and certainly showed it there, but really showed her grip, too. There was a lot of vertical grip, which in a grip gauntlet, as we all know, is quite difficult. She had those difficult nunchucks and the ropes at the end. Absolutely. Like, 
one of the things that I really like about this grip gauntlet competition is that it gives the competitors freedom to do whatever they want. All they got to do is make sure that their feet don't touch the ground and they can do whatever they want. And we saw that in this run. Absolutely. Now, Rachel had a very good run, but there are two runs in this competition. So let's see if Nikki Perella can top it. Welcome. I'm Nikki Perella. I'd give you a tour, but we don't have time for that. This is round one of the Pro and Out Tournament. Very well. Nikki, obviously, from her home gym. And she's starting off on these really creative, like, wooden doorknob uh, cannibal hooks. Yeah, it's a good use of home creativity for an obstacle. I like it a lot. Now let's see where she moves on from here. It looks I like that pipe. Yeah, it looks like that's a spinning trapeze bar because there's nothing holding the pipe in place. So that's a good that, catch. Yeah, that was very good. Nice. Uh, Onto some vertical grip now. Oh, it's oh, a pipe slider. Okay. Oh my, I do like me some pipe sliders, even variants of pipe sliders. So. <laughs> That that got a that got high marks in my book. But she did lose a little bit of time there as she had some trouble transitioning over to these rings and now trying to change direction, getting that pull. There you go. Yeah, that was a bit of a tough transition. She essentially had to go 180 uh, in terms of momentum. So I can understand the bit of a time loss there. But looks like we got a like a slingshot. For, oh no, that's the the clacker. The clacker. Clacker. Having a little go. trouble getting it over there. Come on, Nikki, you can do it. There you go. There we, we got go. one. Hopefully she doesn't have any more issues. Oh, oh, she ran out of gas. So Nikki wasn't able to finish her gauntlet, but she did have quite a bit of creativity. Oh, absolutely. Especially for a home course, which has a, a bit of a more difficulty in terms of formatting a gauntlet. She had a real good diversity of challenges between having a spinning trapeze bar to a, a variation of the pipe slider, which I'm always a big fan of, to just having to change her momentum 180 degrees the way that she did. Like, I, I was impressed with what she did. Yeah, certainly she was very limited with, you know, the obstacles in her downstairs setup, but she made the most of it. Absolutely. And hopefully, if she were to move on to the next round, we'll get to see some more creativity for, from her. Absolutely. So let's go over to our two analysts who I'm sure have a lot to say about these two runs. Lucio Batista and Henry Ferrarin, take it away. All right, gentlemen, thank you once again for joining us. We have two incredible women to talk about right now. Lucio, we're going to start with you. We're going to start with Rachel's run. Uh, let's just start about that beginning. What you what do you think about the way that she started her run? We didn't get to see many other people start not from the ground. So what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, well, one word comes to mind is wow. Like you come you doing a giant right off the bat. I mean, you're expecting that's a huge wow factor right away. It's a very technical gymnastics move and that background suits her well. So huge wow factor to start it off going right into some links right after that into a sam ladder with a technical difficulty. Loved it. Loved the start. All right. Uh, moving on to Henry. How do you think a competitor should go about finishing their gauntlet in order to keep that wow factor high? Yeah, it's a, a, a great point that you're alluding to. Um, obviously, the start, uh, Rachel gets up on that bar and I'm like, all right, this is cool. Something new. She's going to start with like a, like a cast, just like a regular cast, hips on top. And then boom, you have the, you have the giant... I believe that's a that's a baby giant. Your, your arms have to be fully locked off the entire time for for a true giant. But nevertheless, super impressive, linking right after that into some vertical grip, and then just like you mentioned, kind of uh, teeters off a little bit. But she does finish, so the grip stays to sustained. But again, I like to see that explosive wow factor. Try to keep me on the edge of my seat for the full two minutes. The last 30 seconds or so was still impressive, but not nearly as impressive as a start. Uh, let's move on to Nikki's run. Um, so we've seen a few home gyms in the past. Uh, how would you rate the home gym of Nikki? We're going to start with uh, Henry on this one. Yeah, absolutely. So first things first, wow, this girl's creative. That is so cool. 
first off to have the pipe slider with the nunchuck variation i thought that was amazing and i'm like oh man this run is going to be awesome for a home gym to have clackers and then um she kind of showed that she was kind of running out of gas wasn't able to finish it which um obviously isn't ideal but definitely a ton of creativity from a home gym out of nikki for sure if nikki was to move on to the next round what more do you think she should do for her next grip gauntlet i mean she was giving us a good variety so far with the obstacles that she chose i'd probably want to see some more dynamic moves and again i hate to beat a dead horse but in the home gyms without having that type of ability to do those big dynamic movements it's really difficult to give us that entire spread of what we want to see that wow factor is a little bit harder to achieve unless you're giving us something super intense like a vertical limit or a really technical pipe slider dismount or something of that nature. All right. So you heard it here first, everyone. If you want to impress with your home gym, build a vertical limit. <laughs> so, uh, gentlemen, now there's only one more question left to answer, and this is, of course, going to both of you. Who do you think won this matchup? Lucio, we're going to start with you. So, well, I'm going to have to give this one over to Rachel, the uh, the small little giant at the beginning there, as Henry mentioned. Not a full giant, baby giant, I think Henry called it, but that was a really impressive move to start us off. And the fact that she continued all the way through, giving us a good variety and maintaining it till the full two minutes, got to go with Rachel. All right. And Mr. Ferrarin, same question to you. Yeah. Um, again, love to hate to love it to agree with Lucia, <laughs> but... Uh, it's happening. Um, Rachel had the more impressive uh, grip gauntlet. Now, I will say, um, Nikki's creativity, I think, was off the charts. If, if she got through that clacker, I think I'd have to go with Nikki, but she did not. So um, based on everything I, I, I've seen, I have to go with uh, Rachel for the, uh, for the win. All right. So it sounds like this was a pretty close matchup, but our two experts right now, they feel like they preferred Rachel's run over Nikki's. But at the end of the day, their opinion doesn't hold much weight because at, it is imperative that you vote for who you think should move on to the next round. Did you uh, prefer Nikki's home gym or did you like Rachel's mini giants with her course at warrior factory? Please click the link in the description down below and vote on who you think should move on to the semifinals. And we'll be sure to bring in those semifinals and finals and continued coverage of round one and in Jalab and a bunch of other fun stuff right here on our NNL YouTube channel. For William Marchese, I'm Alex Cunningham, and we'll see you next time on the NNL Pro Tournament. Watch Ninja Lab.